Hi guys, my name's Jim. I'm new to bushcraft and I've decided to make a YouTube channel to essentially document everything that I'm learning along my journey. Um, I do a little bit of volunteering with a forest group uh, once a year in May. I go to a family camping trip and help make sure everybody's safe and kind of facilitate them in their weekend away. Um, as part of that, this year I've decided that I'm going to step up my game and be a bit more involved to try and do a little bit more, be able to impart some knowledge. So I've got a few months to learn and um, we're going to see where that goes. So today I have been trying my hand at, I guess you could call it, bushcraft carpentry. I built myself a sawhorse out of some wood that I had around the garden and some that I picked up this morning on my walk home after dropping my son at school. So, let me show you what I've done. Here is my sawhorse. Very simple structure. Um, it has two of these, uh, I guess, bipods with a supporting structure around the bottom. It has two diagonal supports to try and keep it a bit more sturdy. And then it has this central support here, which holds the top together. It's a very simple build, I know. Um, I know the lashings on it leave a lot to be desired. I certainly need to practice those. These are the three very basic tools that I've been using. Um, I'm currently waiting for some nicer tools to arrive that I ordered. I've ordered a OK4 and a Laplander, so hopefully they'll arrive tomorrow. And I'll be able to do some nicer craft. Um, on the end here we have this multi-tool that I use for work. It's got a very basic knife on it. Uh, this is the axe that I've been using which is very blunt to say the least. And here is a very basic saw from B&Q. Okay so now you know what I've used and what I've built. Let's see if it works, see if it does the job. but I can probably live with that, it's not too too bad. I might adjust some of the lashings at some point, tighten them up maybe with some, um, some better cording. This is just a very cheap string that I bought from a B&M store for two pounds. So, it does the job, um, it's not perfect by a long shot, there's a, a slight bit of give when you're putting weight down on, on the wood to saw, um, that does cause the saw to occasionally bend so I'm probably going to have to shore up those lashings, really tighten that in, um, maybe use some paracord or something along those lines. Um, now, some of you may have heard in the background the sound of distant whittling. That's actually my son, Blue. He's carving himself a, a sword in the background. So, let's go have a chat with him, shall we? Hi, Blue. So, can you tell us what you're up to at the moment? Uh, well, I was going to carve a sword, but then it didn't really go that well, so I thought, why not turn this into a bit of a spear? Because... Uh, I like carving a lot too. Cool. So, can you show me your knife? Okay, so Blue, as you can see, is using an open L knife. Um, it's got a lovely little locking mechanism on the top to stop you hurting yourself with it at any time. Can you show us how you open it, Blue? Uh, all you have to do is really twist that. And then you just got to pull it up and lock it back up again so it doesn't fall. Okay, that's great. Can you show us the blade so you can sh everybody can see that it's got a nice rounded end there? 
so that makes it child safe um, so he doesn't poke himself at all. Um, Blue's been whittling for about a year since our last camping trip and um, I think he's starting to get quite good at it. What do you think? Yeah. Excellent. Thank you, Blue. So, there we have it. There's my sawhorse that I built today. Um, just using some wood that I had and some string. Um, and very, very basic tools indeed. And there was my son Blue with his open L knife. Um, child friendly, rounded end. Um, so I don't really know where I'm going to go with this channel. Um, as I said before, I'm going to document my progress, see how it goes. Um, who knows? Maybe it'll take off, maybe it won't. Um, so I guess stay tuned, see how it goes. If you like this video, don't forget to share, like, subscribe, and um, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks a lot.